maps are flat. Whether they're on a screen or on a paper, maps are fundamentally two-dimensional representations of the Earth. Now that's a problem because the Earth isn't flat. It's almost uh, spherical, although not quite. So a challenge that map makers face and something that map makers have been uh, struggling with for at least 500 years is how to represent this curved surface of the Earth on the flat surface of a, uh, a screen or a piece of paper. And it turns out there's no way to do that to translate this curved surface to a flat surface without distorting it in some way. Now there's different distortions and map makers need to choose which distortions they're happy to put up with for a particular map. So a, a, a certain map projection onto a flat surface might distort the distance between two places or the area of a particular place um, or, and importantly the relative area of different places or it might distort the directions um, or the apparent direction between two places. And these distortions are inevitable, there's no way to do away with them but what we do need to do is choose which distortion we can live with for a particular map. And there's lots of map projections out there. And the projection is the, the algorithm that uh, describes how we're going to present this curved surface on a flat surface. So this map is the Mercator projection. They tend to be named after the, the cartographer that developed them in the first place. So the, the Mercator projection is really common uh, and you might feel that this map is, is quite familiar, uh, but it does distort the Earth uh, in certain ways. It, it, in particular, it makes places uh, that are closer to the poles appear larger and places that are closer to the equator appear smaller. And there's been quite a lot of criticism of this map because it makes, for example, Greenland appear much larger relative to Africa uh, than it is. But there are lots of other map projections available. So these are some other ways of projecting the Earth and you can see that they make the Earth seem very different and make countries seem very different depending on which projection we choose. But none of these projections is any more right or wrong than any of the others. It's just a matter of choosing which projection and which distortions we are going to be prepared to put up with for a particular mapping purpose. And different projections actually can be quite useful in helping us think about our um, assumptions about the world. So this projection puts north at the bottom of a map and south at the top. That's not any more right or wrong than any other map projection. The uh, idea of having north at the top of a map is entirely arbitrary. It's only there by convention. Uh, and so we can use map projections to choose which of those conventions, which of those distortions we're, we're going to be prepared to put up with. And understanding projections is important because if we've got multiple layers of spatial data on our map, which we usually have, and those layers use different projections, so different ways of representing that curved surface on a flat one, then it may well be that the same point on the Earth appears in a different place in the map. This map shows the United Kingdom using several different map projections. And as you can see, uh, the map shows that the same place in reality is represented as several different places on our, on our map. The UK appears at different sizes, uh, it appears to be slightly different orientations for some of the projections. And so if we've got uh, one layer on our map that uses one projection and another layer on our map that uses another projection, then the same location won't line up on our map will be completely nonsensical. So that's why you need to know about projections, at least to a certain extent, uh, for, for crime mapping. So in summary, all maps involve some distortion, although there's less distortion in maps that only cover a small area of the Earth. But nevertheless, even if our map does cover only a small area, if we have different layers of data that use different projections, the data may not overlap correctly. And so we will often need to transform spatial data so that we can represent multiple layers on the same map.